Okay, so that's the last screw taken out of it, and I should be able to just take it apart now. Or maybe, uh, oh, okay, yeah, it's just a shell, it's just a super shell. shell over the top. Maybe it's easier if I take the shell off first. Or maybe there's some, oh, okay, all right, wicked. Well, this is kind of nice, actually. This is, this is the, like, the mark of, like, a really well-engineered piece of, like, equipment that, Oh my God, look at, okay. We can get a bit of light in there. You can't really, there you go. Oh my God, look, it's so tight. Oh my God, it's so tidy. Okay, it's a bit more um, involved than I thought. Okay, well, just the electronics. Let's see what we've got in here, actually. Um, wind bond. don't actually know what that chip is that is that codec where's the codec the pcm oh my god okay so they've got just like a traditional i think that's a codec pcm sort of stuff i think our codex um so this must be input output stuff um okay that's the expression pedal, I think. Um, don't touch the capacitors, I've heard. Okay, I should have done it. Um, electro boom. So, that, okay, so these speakers. So, if I was going to modify this, I need to take these speakers out. Okay. This doesn't look too bad now I'm looking at it. We'll go through what's possible. So, I think it could be possible to modify the enclosure itself, right? So we've got this section here that is just a, like, I don't know if you can see that properly. Right, um, so I think this can be chopped off. Like, so if we were stitching two things together, you'd just chop these two sides off, or you'd chop the side of one of them Maybe relocate the uh, the speaker itself. Like, um, uh, what's that? What's that one? What is that? More than more than anything. Hang on. What is, what is that? That is a big piece of that heat sink for something. But for what? Is that an FPGA in there? I don't know. That's okay. It's, it's secret, basically. It's a big secret box. Um, let's see what else. Right, okay. You can just chop this down here. Chop this down here. The, the enclosure here will have to be re the refabricated, basically. This thing on the top. And that might be a bit interesting to develop but the things that you can work with are the things that you can work with um well i don't, uh, I don't know I really don't know this is frustrating this is complicated now um okay i thought this might have been no i never thought i'm an idiot taking this out like this screw i'll put it back like um because you can't remove this key. I thought, oh, oh, maybe lucky, but you can see at the back, it's one, it's one whole entire key bed. Like, um, so if anything, that might need to be removed and then um, modified because that, but that is getting into, I'm really committing to this um, now. Um, the issue is there's a there's a circuit board just underneath there, so that's going to be brutal. Um, okay, on further inspection, these things are grouped. Oh, sorry, this this space here is similar to that, right? So there's a repeating pattern, like but this one thing at the end is different, right? So they've obviously made this repeating thing. So what I need to do is swap this. I might end up, so I don't need to, oh, so do I need, so, 
No, right, okay, so it, uh, what I need to do is just re like find a replacement for this middle section here, attach it to there, I think. No, because it was still overlapped by a key. Ah, how do I do this? Um, things. This is a longer set, like an actual longer section. Um, right, complication one. So, um, okay, like, so this is it. What's on that circuit board? So, if that, if I can take out the the things and then see what's on that circuit board, or if there's like any sort of way to offset this circuit board like is it absolutely vital that both of these circuit boards on each of the keyboards need to be like at exactly the spacing so i'm gonna i'm gonna take apart see if i can take apart the keys here and see see if it's important i've had a look down here and it does actually look like there is some sort of important bit like so the if I was going to layer like the other one on top of it, I need to be a little bit careful with that. I'll take it apart. I'll take it apart first. Let's see what happens. Right. Okay. The man. The the attention to detail here is wild. Okay. So you've got this little bit of foam here to pad the top, but also you've got this little bit of foam here to like pad the the top of the note. It's so it's so neat. There's a massive obvious. Oh, there's a massive problem here. Um, like this is the section, like, so you'd need to overlap the next one like this, so, but obviously the board for the next, sorry, yeah, sorry, where am I putting this, um, obviously the board for the next one would start there, but it needs to start here, so this is... Okay, I mean the board itself doesn't look that complicated, but I don't really know. Like the so the, the what the other thing that I was thinking is like, all right, can I just chop this? Can I just chop this one off? But no, because there's traces going going there, so I'd lose continuity for the other traces. Like it's not isolated or anything. I can't do like anything like that. So it starts becoming a bit more of a complicated problem. Right, so I'm getting a little committed to the bit here. Um, I'm going to take apart this section as well. I'm talking about that, maybe what I can do is reverse engineer the circuit board. And just make it bigger. Or make it... No, because that would be really expensive. How do... All right. Okay. So this is a positive sign. This uh, this is a single sided circuit board. Um, so everything, all the stuff that is important, is on the front of it. Um, a bit. I think this is a little glued. In. I don't know if this is glued in. Um, it's not. All right. Okay. So these can peel out. Oh God. What is that though? Um. So that's just a connecting point. All right, but what are these black strips for? I don't understand. So they're just diodes. What are these things for? What What are those things? What are for those things? What are you? They're like hidden underneath this thing. What? Are they the pressure sensors? Are they... So you you slam down on this and there's like some sort of right okay so is there like one on the bottom so it like measures the the top and the bottom is that what the hell is that is that I, this is a brand new sim is that sold up is that residue on there that's flux this is a new synth today it's flux on it ah uh, ah. Uh. That's we. Oh my god, let's discuss it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna clean up my. Yeah. You know. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up this board probably. It, like, it looks wrong. Look, that does not look right. Like, this. Come on. That does not. Like, I mean, that's not IPC rated. Like, that's not even. That. 
Uh, that wouldn't pass class class C, I, th I think. Like like the loosest class, like the thing that it are for toys or whatever. Like that that. I mean, if that's flux, that's just going to eat you away at all those traces over time anyway. So you're going to fuck this board. Um, Alright. So, I mean, the good thing, this is, I think this is a relative, if I can work out what the hell is actually going on, um, this is a relatively easy circuit board to reverse engineer. These are just diodes. So these are just like, this is a switch matrix, essentially. This is just like a bunch of switches in... So how, I need to count the amount of pins on these connectors. So if that is, how many pins are there? Are they two pins each? No, that's a single wire, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's a single wire coming off. So how many, how many multiplex this? So if I just count, like maybe they've done it in a grid sort of thing. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, I think it is eleven. Um, so, chat, CN1, CN2, so, multi, I guess that's in a matrix. Um, Okay. I mean, it's doable. Like, what? What are these little nipple things? Oh, right. That's the other. That's the other side of that thing. All right. So I need to make sure that this nipple over here is back in. Um, so I set the nipple. Okay, that one's probably easier with two with two hands. Okay. I need to do this like another time. Um, Oh god, I hope that you don't need a special tool to get these, these bloody things back in. Or anyway, I'm scared. Um, yeah, terrified. Yeah, whoops. I probably wasn't intended to take that many screws out. I think I went a little bit over the board, but yeah, okay. It does work. So, you've got control over two different synth engines if you want. Like so. Um, right. So I'm controlling. Uh, this synth with this controller. So, um, yeah, it's just one big keyboard at the moment. So, um, but you can have this engine as a separate sound um, as well. Just coming out of um, the same synth because this has got an auxiliary input, so the output of this synth just runs straight into here. Uh, the uh, yeah, so if you want like the separate synth. So the opt of se separation, like you can get the whole spread um, of you know almost a full range keyboard, like bar, um, like an octave or something like that. So 
So um, I think it's like this super low octave that you lose. So I think that's good enough as a high note.